peace and blessings be appointed to all my brothers and sisters out there in the world all glory given to the most high yah the god of all creation be grateful for his long suffering be grateful for his peace be grateful for his mercy be grateful for his favor that he has upon your life allowing you to be able to walk in his grace and be given all the great things that he has in store for each and every one of us all glory given to yah for he is the only one who is worthy. Blessed be his name in Yahshua HaMashiach name. We also call our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Peace and blessings be appointed to all my brothers and sisters out there. It is your brother Jehoshaphat Israel back in the sanctuary for tonight. And you know, family, like always, I got my, my allotted time here. So I'm going to do my best to give you my best. But this is not on me, family. I'm just taking orders, family. That's all I'm doing, family, here right now in the sanctuary with my time here with all my brothers and sisters who would take an ear to hear. I'm just following orders, family. And this is one great thing that I love about your father. He orders our steps, family. He tells us every single thing that he wants us to do. You be up over there. You come up with your plan for your day. You be like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And I'll do that. Uh-uh, family. Uh-uh, family. If you have him in your life, family, he knows what's best for us. He knows what's best for you, sister. He knows what's best for you, brother. And we don't we don't family we don't know what's good for us like that we don't know i throw my hands all the way up in the fire I throw your hands up one again for you are blessed by the most high god himself family we don't know what's best for us we don't know in our life if the plans that we set if it's going to work out even play out or even be in our best interest that's why it's so important to let him come in family to let him come in family so he can direct all of your movements family I have learned with your father and I know we're going to get we're going to get into this. The things that he has for you, like like he has his will on your life, family. You can't get out of that family. You're going to have to go do that, whatever he says. But the other things that you be thinking that you're going to do in the day, brother, he gives you an option. He either going to let you do it A or B or C. He gives you different ways of going about doing it in your day to do it. The same thing, if it's in his will for you to do that for that way, maybe you do it A. He gave you the option of A. He gave you the option of B. He gave you the option of C and D. And all of those will work. But in that day for our movement, for what he wants us to do, we cannot get out of it. And that's one of the greatest things that I love about your father is that he orders my steps. He tells me what to do, family. You either believe, family, or you don't believe. You either have faith, family, or you don't have faith. You either going to trust in what he is asking of you. Or are you just going to step out into this world and fall into all that calamity that will befall anybody who doesn't want to walk uprightly and don't want the God of all creation to watch down on them and to guide them, family? To push him to the right when he wants you to go to the right, to tell you to go to the left, family, to tell you to stay right front and center of all the things that he wants you to do in the day. And that's. One of the greatest things, family, I've been listening all day to whatever he's saying and to the non-believers and the people who just don't have no faith. They don't have to believe this to be the real power that is in this world, that is in control of this world, for he made this world for his pleasure. Not only did he make this world for his pleasure, he made each and every one of us. Hallelujah for, you know, I'm telling you the truth. He made each and every one of us for his pleasure, family, that should just seem tingles all the way down in your body, family, all the way down in your spine. It should give you new life given inside of your own self for you was made for God's pleasure, family. Do you understand what that means? He made you and put you on this world to please him. And you see so many different people, family. They only trying to please they self. 
How, how that's going to work out? How are they going to have a good life? How is they going to be blessed? How are they going to be in his grace and in his favor for their life if they want to just please themselves and they alone was made for his pleasure, family? You should get so much joy inside your heart to know that this is the truth, to know that you was made in his likeness from his greatness to please the most high God. Hallelujah. Throw your hands up once more again, for we are all blessed by the most high God himself. And family, you know, I'm your brother, your brother Jehosa. I'm just following orders, family. That's all I'm doing. I, I, ain't, I put it like this, family. I ain't got no smartness. I ain't got none of that stuff, family. All I have is what my father has put before me, and that's what I'm going to to do family i take a pleasure in it it feels so good to know that each and every single day i don't have to go out here in this world and i have my whole list of things and then i just go do that and then all that bad stuff happen or nothing gets done family he wants to get it done family he wants to help you on your way family he wants to give you that lifting hand and tell you tina that ain't gonna work girl that ain't gonna work child don't do that you hear me mike don't 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 do that mike that ain't gonna work for you Mike, I want you to do this. This is how I want you to do it. This is where I want you to go. This is how I want you to spend your day. And you see so many different people in this world. They just doing whatever the hell they want to do. They want to do it the way they want to do it. They want to do it the way they like him to do it. But we was made to pleasure him. He takes a pleasure in listening. He's telling you this stuff. And then you go out there and do that. He takes a pleasure in that, my brother. He takes a pleasure in that, my sister, to see that he can give you words to send down from his great throne. And he like, well, you know, Bobby, I want you. Do, do you hear me, Bobby? Bobby, are you listening? Bobby, this is what I want you to do. And then you go do that. That's what he wants to see from us. All right, as you're listening to me, Lisa, there's so many of my brothers and sisters out there in the world. When he sends down his orders on our life of what he wants us to do in that daytime, it brings a pleasure to see him, see us do his will on our life. It's amazing, family. I stepped out of the Sabbath weekend, and that's the one thing that I can say about your father is that he is so amazing, family. He's amazing, family. His power amazing his will amazing his grace of his glory of his throne of his truth is amazing family all the things that he do for in his in our lives he's amazing family can't nobody take that away can't nobody prove me wrong and can't nobody sit up here and they can't say that he's not doing his will on our life it's amazing family he is amazing all glory be given to yah all glory be given to yah for he is worthy now Family, I'm not going to rush into things and I'm not going to do you a disservice and I'm not going to be like, oh, you know, you know, my nine o'clock prayer hour is coming, y'all, and I got to get to my knees. My knees was hurting the other night, family. I was, I've been on it. Shots out to all my brothers and sisters who have been at the nine o'clock prayer hour. And I told you, we, we do this all, all night long, family. I'll, come get you some, family. Come get you some, family. Don't, 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 don't sleep on this, family. You know what I'm saying? Don't sleep on your chance to pray for this ill world and all the many different people who need your prayers. Don't sleep on this, brother. Don't, don't let this slip through your fingertips, sister. You know what I'm saying? Don't fall asleep. Don't be like, oh, you know, I'm just gonna do it that next time. All right, you're going to be missing. You, you, you might be missing a blessing, family. But shouts out to all my brothers and sisters who have been at the 9 o'clock per hour. You know what I'm saying? Come give us your 5 minutes. Come give us your 10 minutes. Come give us your 15. If you a soldier and you can make it through the whole, give me 30 minutes. Give me 45. Hallelujah. You give me that 45. Give us, give us your time, family, to pray to your father. And, and then so here goes some of my brother. Oh, here goes your host. So he talking about the nine o'clock prayer. Oh, my God. He want us praying. I, family, I just don't want you praying. He wants us all to pray together. Hallelujah. Where you at, brother? You stay in Cincinnati. Where you at, sister? You in California. Where you at? You know what I'm saying? Brother, where you at? Utah, where is you at? You know what I'm saying? Come with us in the spirit. And pray. We start up at nine o'clock. I told you it goes all night long. So jump in it, family. It's 10 o'clock. Jump in it. It's like jump rope. You know what I'm saying? Jump in it. You know what I'm saying? 11 o'clock. You ain't missing because one of your other and brothers and sisters is there with you. You know what I'm saying? Jump in it, family.
Don't miss this, family. We do this each and every night besides from the Sabbath night. Now, now, family. OK, before family, before we get into ministering and preaching and gospeling of his Holy Spirit tonight, I just want to talk about the Amber Geiger case. Just one more again, family, just to get this off my chest, family, just to get it off my chest. It won't take that long. I promise, family. Now, black people. He rules. I hate rules. I know you're listening. Black people. Colors. Negroes. 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 <laughs> Negroes, are you listening? Now, family, I don't know if you know or if you haven't thought about this, but I would like you to lock your doors, family. I would like you to remember to lock your doors, family. I don't even care if it's a car door, family. I don't care if it's the mailbox. You know what I'm saying? Lock it up, family. Lock it up, family. And then you'd be like, whoa, Jehosa, why you why you saying that for, brother? Because bad things happen to Hebrews in this country that don't lock their doors, family. This is the only thing that I can take out of the, the Amber Geiger case. What can I say? One white lady go to jail and two black men die. Uh-uh, family, that's not even good enough. Family, that's not even good enough. You should have your spiritual antennas on it. You should be thinking. Bad stuff happened to Negroes in this country that don't lock their doors, family. It's bad, family. It's bad, family. You want the police to just walk up in your house? You seen the sister. She was in her living room disciplining her children's. And the policeman just walked right up in the house, family. This could have been avoided if she locked the damn door, family. I'm sorry. The brother, the brother, God rest his soul. He didn't lock his door. He got shot in his own house, family. In his own house, family. Do you know how bad that is? You come home from work. You tired, family. Lock your damn door, family. Lock your damn doors, family. Do you understand how important it is for a black person that live in North America to lock his damn doors, family? I know, I know, I know you slip up. I my, my hand is up again, family. We all slip up. We all make mistakes. But how can you expect the angels to do their job if they don't see you doing your job, family? It, it, family faith without works is dead, family. You got he you got to show him something, family. You got to show him. Okay, well, Mike, he forgot this day to lock his door, but all the other days he locked his door and stuff. Okay, okay, Susan, she up over there. She forgot to lock her car door. She left it open that one time. I, I know my child be messing up and she ain't perfect in everything. She's not perfect. So I'm going to keep all the, the, the demons away from her car. Get out of here, demon. Get away from her car. Get away from my child's car. You know what I'm saying? How can you expect God to do something for you if you can't Try to do it your dang, your, yourself, family. Try to put in some type of work that he wants to see, family. He knows we make mistakes. He knows that we're not perfect, but he wants to see us try, family. Bad things happen to black people in this country who don't lock their door. I want you to double check it. I, I, you just came in from work. I know you tired. You got your backpack. You got your heavy boots. You, you, you're hungry. You want to get in the shower. I know this. You know what I'm saying? I already know this, but I want you to double check the dough. Look what happened to the sister. She came home. She was playing video games and, and, and rest the souls of all our fallen brothers and sisters out here in this world. I'm not being no desecration or no mockery, but this is serious business, family. It's serious business. You've seen our sister. All she was doing was playing video games with her nephew. The police came up and shot her family in her house, family in her house. All they said was, we think her door is unlocked. And they called them on them, family. They, they called the police owner just because her door was cracked open a little bit. We have to take it upon ourselves to do the double checking, family. When you in your house, family, make sure you lock the damn door, family. You be like, damn, Jehosa, damn. <laughs> I didn't know it was this serious, brother. It's serious for a black man or a black woman in this country who have doors unlocked, family. You see, some of our people, the white people, they won't even let them drive into their own homes. They they keep the doors locked, family. 
They do, family. They keep the doors locked. But as you see black people in this country, you see all these things happen bad when somebody don't lock the damn door. This ain't happening to Asian people. I haven't seen an Asian person on the TV. He didn't lock the door. And then all this stuff is happening to Asian people. I don't see Hispanic people. They're not locking their doors. And then all of this stuff is happening to them from them not locking a door. Double check. Sometimes you got to double check, family. It pays the double check, family. I know, family. I know you're going to slip up and you're going to make a mistake. Sometimes you and, you know, thieves, family, they be checking, family. They they go up to the door, family, and they'll just twist it to see if it's not open and walk right up in your house, brother. Do you hear me, sister? You come in, you throw all your clothes off, you hang all that stuff. Lock the damn door. You know what I'm saying? The, the thieves, they be checking, family. They be checking. They walk up to your door, family. They flip the little, they flip the doorknob to see if the door open. The door open. Billy car open right up. The thief in his car checking around, family. I throw my hands up in the fire, too, family. Uh, you can have a crack window, family. They'll throw their hand all in the window and unlock your door just to steal your damn change, family. To steal your damn change family we must lock our doors okay i'll leave it alone family i'll leave it alone family. it's very important family double check do you hear me grandma do you hear me grandpa little brother little sister big brother big sister do you hear me lock your damn doors family keep a lock on it you, you see we we hebrews we black people the police when they raid the house they will blow your damn door off it's not, it, this is not a joke, family. This ain't a game. It's sad, family. It's sad, family. So much stuff can be missed if we just lock our damn doors. Okay, let's get into preaching and ministering for tonight. And and I, and I messed up, family, because I didn't get the right picture that I, I wanted to get, the right picture that I wanted to express because I was running out of time and I got to hurry up and do this. But then the nine o'clock per hour is coming. So then I don't want to be, I don't want to be slipping either family. So all these things that was brought to me and you know, family, I got my allotted time here. So we here now in the sanctuary, all glory be given to Yah, for he is the only one who is worthy. And I, I got to do my best for all my brothers and sisters, but I, there's nothing important about me, but I do come to feed your soul, family. There's nothing important about me, but I still come to remind you, family. That is my job, family. Y'all going to let them people take that away from me, family? I'm just asking, brother. I'm just asking, family. That's my job, sister. You know what I'm saying? To remind you, to feed your soul. And to remind you of all of these things, family, I want you to listen. I want you to take it to heart, my brothers and sisters. And I want you to listen to these things. And then I want you to think about them. And then I want you to act on all of them. Now, let's go ahead and get into preaching and ministering for tonight. Now, do you know evil is waiting for you to slip up, brother? It is. I wrote it down on this piece of paper and everything. It's just waiting, family. It's waiting, family. Evil is waiting for you to slip up already, family. We just talked about Hebrews and they, we talked about black people in their doors. We talked about the house of Israel locking their doors. And evil is already out there waiting for you to slip up. How do you not know that it's not waiting for you to slip up on every single thing else? Evil wants to see you fall, family. Evil wants to see you come up short. Oh, well, there they go, there go Mike. He's he's slipping. I know it was going to be a matter of time before I can get him. So I can stick my talons all up in him. I know it's going to be a matter of time before Tina be slipping. Evil is already waiting on you to slip, brother. Do you hear me, sister? Evil is actually waiting on you to slip. Like, it's got a calendar on the wall, and it was checking it. It was like April 1st. Oh, she ain't slipping. April 10th, she still ain't slipping. April 19th. Oh, there she goes. She was slipping. It's waiting on you. It's waiting on you to slip already. So I want you to keep this on guard. That's why they be talking. That's why they be looking. That's why they be uttering that stuff. Because evil is already watching you for you to slip up, my brother. Evil is already waiting for you to slip up, my sister. Okay, let's press forward. It is written that Yah, the Lord, orders the steps of a man. What does it mean to you? So um, I'm asking you, this is a question that I'm putting before you tonight or in the morning when you get it, whenever you get this message, family, I'm asking you this. It is written that Yah, 
the Lord orders the steps of a man. What does that mean to you? Now, I already told you, family, it is my pleasure, family. It is my pleasure to know that I don't have to face this world by myself. I don't have to come up with some jacked up toe back plan on what I was going to do for that day. And then none of it comes to four wishes. None of it happens. The father, he already knew every single thing that you was going to do on that day and it wasn't going to work. So why would he let you go out there and do that? He orders the steps of a man or a woman. What do you feel about that? I take pleasure in to know that he tells me to do every single thing that I do in the day. Every single thing, family. I'm running on 100 per, um, proficiency today because ever since I got up, he didn't already told me what he want me to do. He told me what was good, what I can do, what I can't do, what I better not do. And I was planning to do all that stuff, family. I was planning to do it A, B, and C. But once more again, if you love your father, if you cherish him, if you fear him, if you love him, he's going to tell you what to do. He's going to boss you around. And so many of my other brothers and sisters, they would take that in a bad way. Oh, Jehosa, what you talking about? He going to boss me around. I do whatever I want to do. You can't tell me nothing. See, that's why them people don't be getting blessed. Oh, I do whatever I want to do and I want to do that. See, that's why sister ain't being blessed because she wants to do whatever the hell she wants to do. And God is sitting here here trying to tell her no no Tatiana no Tyrene that's not gonna work Shamika it's not gonna work for you I want you to do this no I want to do that I want to do it this way I want to have this I want to see none of that stuff is going to work you know what I'm saying that's why he orders the steps of a man or a woman I take pleasure in this my brothers I take pleasure in this and my sisters to know that your father cares so much for all of us that he would order us around what was written? It is written that Yah, the Lord, orders the steps of a man. What does this mean to you? Yah is my boss over my life. He tells me when and how to do something. That's how it is, family. God is the boss over my life. I'm not the boss of me. But in the society over here in North America and the way that, that modern people are, they think that they the damn boss, family. How, how, how can you have God at the top of your pyramid if you think you the damn boss? You know what I'm saying? How can you hear God if you think you the damn boss? You know what I'm saying? God is the boss of my life, family. He orders me what to do. And I take a pleasure in this. So I want all my brothers and sisters out there to please consider. There, there is no, no hostility towards the most high Yah that he's telling us what to do. We love it, family. We love it. Ain't no shame up in this. Oh, God told me to do this. Now I got to go over. There ain't no shame in this, family. We take a pleasure in knowing that he cares about his children so much down here on this earth that he's going to tell us what to do, when to do, how to do it, where to do it, where to go. No, that ain't going to work, my child. No, that's not going to work for you. I want you to do this. This is how I want you to do it. This is how I want you to conduct yourself. So I take, you know, family, I take a pleasure in it. Okay, what is, what is all written? In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Tithe and, okay, now I'm going to stop right there. So you have to acknowledge God in your life. You have to acknowledge him first. A lot of people won't acknowledge him in, in their ways of what. OK, now I told you, I told God what I was going to do in that day. And he said, no, that ain't going to work. That's acknowledging him in all of your ways. If you was, if you acknowledge him and tell him, well, Father, this is what I plan to do. Is it cool? Is it cool? Most high. And then he might say, no, it's not. He might say, I want you to do this. He might say, I want you to do that. But you have to you have to acknowledge him in all your ways and he shall direct your path. That's the only way, family, he's going to order you to do. Them other people, they could give a damn what God is telling them what to do. They is not going to acknowledge God and nothing they doing, family. Uh, and and you be like, yo, oh, you, you, so you sitting there shaming them, Jehosa. You sitting there. I don't care about none of that, brother. I really don't, family. They won't even acknowledge him with prayers in the morning time. So what you think you better than him? Nah, I'm just putting the good word. And my brothers and sisters ear out here across this whole very world, family, I want you to acknowledge him 
for him to be able to direct you. They ain't acknowledging nothing, family. That's why they can't hear him and he ain't telling them nothing. And all that stuff that was they was going to fail in in that day, they just going to be failing in in that day. They ain't, they ain't going to be able to pull nothing great out that day because they're not going to be able to acknowledge him in all their ways, family. Okay, let's keep on pushing. Tithing and offering. How you feel about that, brother? How you feel about that, sister? You know, your brother Jehosa, I ain't I ain't slacking on that family. I ain't family. And I told you, when I had $3 in my pocket, I still went over to his house. And then it's our job, family, to bless his church, family, to spread the word, family. It is, family. I know a lot of people, they be all like, well, you know Jehosa. Well, you know the pastor. He got four, four five cars, Jehosa. He driving the, he got a, he told me to give him money for a 747, Jehosa. That ain't your business. That ain't your problem either. You know what I'm saying? It ain't your business. It ain't your, find somebody who's actually doing something good with the money. That, that's all I can say. You know what I'm saying? But God wants you to build up his kingdom down here on this earth and you're going to have to get low in your pocketbook. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to check your your coin purses, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have to pull out them dollars, family. You is, family. Where is the money at? Where is the money at? But we're going to talk about tithing and offering. Tithing and offering is part of the sacrifice of what is our best that is required. Let me let me stop here. Now, you you seen Cain. He got in trouble, family. He did, family. He was up over there trying to give God his, his pocket change and lint, family. He was trying to give God his second best, family. He was trying to give Yah, the Lord of hosts, his hand-me-downs. God don't want your hand-me-downs. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't want your change, family. He doesn't, family. He wants your best, family. This is part. You already in your lifetime. You already already this too you got a tithe and offering then you got your sacrifice of your life family these are all required of us family and you know my brother you know my sister you know when when you get your your your, your tax return or you get your bonus family go run him some money family family he ain't asking us a lot family he's not family He's not asking, what do you have in your heart to give him? And make sure it's your best. That's what he wants to see, family. He know your plans. He know that you want to go on the Bahama trip. He know that you wanted the car. He know you want to take the kids to Disneyland. He already knows that, family. It was already written in his plan before he made the foundations of this earth, family. He already seen you, family. He already planned for you before this whole creation was already started. He already knew what you was going to do. So... He wants to see a sacrifice in it. We sacrificing with doing what he wants us to do, sacrificing our life to live right each and every day. That does not get us out of tithing and offering to the God, to our father, Yah, the Lord of hosts. He still family. He still wants to see our best. You've seen how Cain was slipping family. He got cursed family. Can you imagine you give something to God and then he curse you for it family? I'm just saying brother, but Cain was up over there trying to give God his pocket lint family. Cain was up over there trying to give God his hand-me-downs. Cain was up over there trying to give God his leftovers. God doesn't want your leftovers. You know what I'm saying? He wants to see your best. He wants to see you get down low to see what you are willing to do he already owns everything family he is already his family it's nothing on this earth look outside look in the firmament look in outer space all of that stuff is his too family he owns everything so what are you really giving him family it's the sacrifice that he wants to see that's what pleases him family my brother up over there he got a bonus on a job, family. He did not want to lift up God's kingdom on this earth, family. He got a thousand dollar check, family. He was worrying about the gators and the Nikes and the leather coats and the hats and the brims and the steaks and the lobster. He was worried about all of that, family. And when it came down to God, he was like, well, God, well, you know, I got a thousand dollars. You can, brother. Brother, you couldn't come off a hundred dollars for the Lord, brother. Hold on, brother. Hold on, Hebrew. Hold on, house of Israel. You couldn't come off a hundred dollars for the Lord? It's sad, family. It's sad, family. Your brother be up over here. Blessed, family. I'm finna dig low for the most high, y'all. When, 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 when I know I'm finna get a bonus or a tax return, I hurry up and give him the money already, family, because I know he's gonna trickle down. Family, he's gonna open up all the Zion. He gonna open up the heaven, and then he gonna send all them blessings down, family. You can't stop no blessing, baby. You cannot stop no blessing, brother. 
brother. You cannot stop no blessings, sister. Eventually, it will come around, family. And I already know that. So I want him to open all of the heavens and trickle down all my blessings in my bag, family. How am I going to have some blessings in my bag if I'm not willing to sacrifice? How am I going to have some blessings in my bag if I'm not willing to tithe and offer? Okay, let's keep on continuing. Okay, tithing and offering is part of the sacrifice or what is our best that is required. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all of your increase. So your burns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. Family, that's why they broke, family. That's why they ain't got it. That's why they be always, oh, they, oh I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, Jehoshaphat, how I'm going to be able to pay my mortgage. Oh, Jehoshaphat, I don't know. I'm going to pay my car down and my insurance to get my nails done. That's why. That's why she ain't got it. That's why he ain't got it because their vats are not full. They're not overflowing. They is not willing to take the same possession that God gave them and give it back, family. For him to give them more, family. They broke. They ain't got it. You're like, oh, Jehosa, you going too hard on everybody. Oh, what am I going to do, brother? I only got 500 on my check. Dig low, dig low in your pocket, brother. Dig low in your in your pocketbook. You want that? You want him to open up his heavens. My other brothers and sisters up over there talk about don't tie, don't offer. You keep your money. That's why they broke. That's why they ain't got it. That's why they ain't got no extras. That's why they, he ain't opening up the heavens to trickle down nothing on them because they so damn stingy. Petty, but they so damn stingy, family. He can't even give them more, family, because they're not even willing to sacrifice. I'm telling all my brothers and sisters out there, I want, he wants to see a sacrifice. He wants to see what you are willing to give. He wants some of that. He wants you to dig down low in your pocketbook. He wants you to dig down low in your coin purse. He wants to see them dollars, family. And you'd be like, damn, Joe, so damn. <laughs> Oh, family, I told you, I come to remind you, family, I, I have, family, you, you oh, oh, damn it, Jehosa, I'm not paying nobody, no damn ties and no offer, that's why you broke, brother, that's why you ain't got it, sister, that's why you gonna stay broke, brother, that's why you gonna stay broke, sister, come up out your pocket, you know what I'm saying, you know damn well that they sent you a $300 check in the mail, you better give him something, you better build up his kingdom down here on this earth, because if you didn't know, he's all about his his kingdom down here on this earth. Okay, let's keep on going. Tithing and offering is part of the sacrifice of what is our best that is required. You seen you family? You you seen Cain? He got cursed for that family. He got cursed because he was trying to give somebody his left overs family his hand-me-downs his second best choice family god wants to see your best you know what i'm saying you give him your hit your best now and he gives you even more later that is a promise family that is a promise from the most high yah what is written tithing where, where was i at family i'm sorry family did i did i jump my page did i move my page hold on family Tithing and offering is part of the sacrifice of what is our best that is required. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all of your increase. So your burns will be filled with plenty. Don't it sound so good, brother? With plenty. And your vats will overflow with new wine. Hallelujah, family. Hallelujah. Will overflow with new wine. Not old wine. Not old money. But new money, family. New stuff, family. Even better things. Them other people ain't going to never have it. They always going to be broke. They always going to be asking. And they always going to come up short. Your brother... Uh, it's one thing I can tell you right now, family. He always comes when you need him the most. Hallelujah. He ain't gonna never leave you out and dry that thing. You be like, oh God, what am I gonna do? Oh, he always makes a way from us. Your God is so good. Yeah, the Lord of hosts is so good. He can make a way out of no way. Hallelujah, family. For each and every one of us, throw your hands up to the heavens for you know you are blessed by the most high God himself. Now, let's keep going, family. Because I got this a lot of time and I gotta I gotta make it through all of this stuff, family. It's a lot, family. He was telling me, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, now it is more important for you to have riches 
you to have riches than to be rich. So what do you what do you think? What do you think is it more important? Is it more important that you have riches or that you be rich? Family, what is more important to you? I'm asking you, brother. You know what I'm saying? Do you want the riches or do you want to be rich? Family, what is what is more important to you, sister? What was written again? It is more it is it is more important for you to have riches than to be rich. Listen to what was said, family. It is more important for you to have riches than to be rich. Why, Jehosa? Why, brother Jehosa? Why? Let's get into it, family. Happy is the man who find wisdom and the man who gains understanding for her proceeds are better than the profit of silver and her gain than, than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies and all that things you may desire cannot compare with her. The length of days is in her right hand and her left hand is riches and honor. So that's what I mean, family. It's more important for you to seek out for God, Yah's understanding. The Lord of hosts It's more important for you to, to, to reach out for him, to understand him, to gain his wisdom, to, to gain his knowledge, all the subtleties of all of his natures on how he wants us to ask. And he will add all these things on to you. You can be rich today and be broke tomorrow. It's more important for, for you to have God's riches, family. Them people, they get rich and then they die, family. They get rich and then they, brother got a million dollars. Now he owed two million dollars. How the hell that happened, family? How you get a million dollars today? Now you broke and now you owe somebody two million dollars. It's more important for us to have his riches than to be rich, family. What was written all over again? Happy is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gains understanding for the her proceeds are better than the profits of silver and her gain than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies and all the things you may desire cannot compare with the length of days in her right hand and her left hand is riches and honor. He's going to give you riches and honor and length of days. Or do you want do do you want just to be rich? What what do you want, brother? Sister, are you are you listening? What what is it that you want? You want to be rich today, broke tomorrow, rich today, dead tomorrow, rich today, more problems and more worries? Or do you want to seek after all of his wisdom, of all of his righteousness, and he will give you honor. He will make you an honorable man. That means people respect you. He will make you an honorable woman. That means other women look up to you. He will lengthen the days of your life. So many different people get rich today and die tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? You heard about the man. He won a million dollar check one day. The next day he was in a week's time. He was dead. He didn't even have time to spend it. Do you want the, to be rich or do you want riches from his wisdom and his knowledge? It is better for a man or a woman to seek out God's glory of his grace, of his favor, of his wisdom and his truths so he can add riches and honor and extra life unto any of us. Them people up over there, you know, what 50 cents say he said, get rich or die trying. It's sad, family. He just going to be rich. And you already seen how he went broke. You see it, family? He went for hot family, 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 family. How you have five hundred million dollars and then you broke and you ain't got it. This is what he's talking about. You know what I'm saying? You can get riches, but you're going to lose it and you're going to be miserable. And then some of them die, family. God wants to add honor to you, brother. God wants to add riches to you, sister. God wants to give you more life, brother. But it's more important for us to seek out the ways that he wants us to carry ourselves of being righteous before his eyes. And I tell you right now, family, I will tell you right now, family, love is the key. And tomorrow or today or whenever you get this message and you go out there in this world and you look for people to have love. The reason why your brother wants you to have love and to give love is because that's fulfilling all the laws of all the commandments. Everything will fall in to every single thing that he asked you to do. If you're only willing to give and to love, but and to express love freely, family, freely, family. But the world that we all look in, 
Oh, Jehosa, you a sucker ass nigga because you want to. I said it. I said it again. Oh, you a sucker nigga because you want to love somebody. But God wants you to give in to his righteousness. You can't have both family you can only have one or the other if you're gonna walk around with that eventually you're gonna die with that same sad look on your face god wants you to have joy in your life god wants you to have peace in your life god wants you to have understanding in your life and if you void of love you won't even carry these things forth in your life family all things fall under love family and that is something that is denounced that is something that is shame. That is something that's mocked and ridiculed in this world. As I look at your people, family, as I look at your people, they look at love as something as a weakness. And with the same two beady eyes and face will say that they love God. What God do they love, family? What God do they know, family? If he wants us all to love. Oh, Jehosa, well, brother, they, they think I'm a sucker if I, if I be loving people. Don't worry about them, brother. Don't worry about them, sister. You do your part. You know what I'm saying? You want his riches. You want his honor. You want his extra life, family. They ain't got no love, so all of that is going to be taken from them, and they will be shamed, family. That is a promise because you get the opposite of, of God. If you don't want to love him, you're going to get his hate, family. If you don't want his peace, family, all you're going to get his fury. You get the opposite with God if you're not willing to put in. Don't worry about them other people. Don't worry about them other black people. Don't worry about them other sisters. You worry about doing your part for God, family. Oh, Jehosa, it's so hard, and I know, brother, I gotta give in the more love. Oh, Jehosa, it is hard, brother. It's hard. Don't even worry about them, you know what I'm saying? They already sick, family. They sick with the sin that they give in. They got the illness of this world, family. We don't need it, family. We don't even need it, family. We need his riches, family. We need his honor, family. We need all that good favor and his grace so we can be able to flow in life, family, and don't have so many damn turbulent waves, family. Family. They up over here kicking up they in a, a little tiny pool, family, and they're kicking up all these damn ways, family, just because they're not willing to give into love, family, and that is required of us so we can have a peaceful life, family. They walk around with all of that, and when they go home, they get even madder, family. They will never have any peace on their soul or on their mind because they was not willing to give into love, something that is higher than all of us put together, family, down here on this earth, there is no man or woman that can prove me wrong, family. Okay, let's go back, family. Let me get a side note. Side note for the night. Yeah, or the morning time. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Side note. Yes, it is. And I already said this, but I got to say it again because I got it written again. How do you think the Lord of hosts feels when he sees you doing what he requested? How do you think he feels, family? All the other people out there, I don't, the family, they got like half of a faith, family. You, you already know, family, people, they call me all kind of names, say I'm crazy, say all kind of the same things that they were saying to the apostles, family. They tell me, they look at me the same way, family. They halfway believe in God, family. You can't halfway believe in God, family. You either believe him all the way, family, or none of his power is going to work on your life, family. If you halfway believe in him, you, you get what you pay out with God, family. You, you halfway believe him, you're going to halfway get his grace, family. You halfway believe him, family, you're going to halfway get a blessing. And your brother, I don't need no half blessings. You know what I'm saying? I want the, God had a brand new car for me, and then I halfway believed him, and then he gave me half a car. So he gave me some bucket that's always breaking down. You, you have to believe in him all the way, family. You have to go all the way in, family. And there's so many different of our people that halfway believe the power of God. They halfway trust him. They halfway depend on him. They halfway believe in him, family. Your brother, I want you to all the way go in with your father so you can get every single thing that he has for you. Are you going to get half of what he had for you, family? What was written again? How do you think the Lord of hosts feels when he sees you doing what he requested? This is the only way a man or a woman can build up trust with the Lord. The more you do, the more he trusts. This is the only way he can trust you, family. This is the only way that God can trust a man or a woman. We can say whatever we want to say, family. We can feel however we want to feel. But as long as he's seen, well, I told, I told Jeffrey, 
I told Timmy, I told Bobby that I want him to do A and B and C. It builds up trust, family. Now he trusts you, family. He don't trust everybody. He doesn't trust everybody. He doesn't, he's not going to put them in that place in their life because they never took the, out the time for him to trust them, family. This is the only way a man or a woman can build trust on his half. He's seen you do what he said. He said, Tina, I want you to do this. I want you to do that. And I want you to do this. Now, if Tina does what he said, one, two, and three, that gave Tina some trust points with the most high God. That is the only way, family. That is the only way that you can build up trust to where he can trust you, family. He's not going to do all those other things if he don't trust you, family. He's not going to give you the car if he don't trust you. He's not going to give you the house. If he don't trust you, he's not going to believe that you're going to get the job done if he told you all them times before to do what he said and you didn't even want to do it. You didn't even want to do it. He tests each and every one of us, family. How's she going to get the husband if she's not willing to, to do what he said? He was trusting that she was going to do that. He put it out there. She didn't want to do it. She got no trust. She got no trust brownie points with the most high God because she did not want to do what he said. And then you got all them fake people up over there talking about God don't speak. God don't tell nobody what to do. God ain't this God. Ain't. Because they halfway believe in God. You know what I'm saying? They halfway believe in his power. They halfway believe in his glory. They halfway believe in his grace, family. I want you to go all the way in, family. No holding back. God tell them to do something. They don't want to do it. They earn no points, family. They earn no points with him. So how can he trust them to do anything? How can he put something in their hand if they themselves have not shown him that they are competent and able to do it, family? Okay, I'll leave it alone, family. I'll leave it alone, family, because my blood runneth Red, hot, and it runneth over, family. Side note for the night. The only way you can build trust is to listen to your father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Half of the people, they ain't going to believe me, family. Half of the other people, they heard everything I said and they was laughing about it. And they're not going to trust that God is not a respecter of man. He re he talks to everybody, family. He comes up to, I can't hear him, Jehovah. I can't hear him, Jehovah. Is you doing right? Is you being right? It, remember, the key of what how he wants us to act is love. And if you ain't got no damn love in your heart, I don't know if you can hear God, family. I don't know, family. I don't, maybe it's too much hate up in there, family. I told y'all, family, it's so much on a Hebrew heart. Some Hebrew hearts are made of plastic. That's why they fake. Some Hebrew hearts are so damn hard. It's made of metal. They can't even crack a smile, family. So many people heart got so much wood chips and metal and plastic and all kind of stuff on it, family. They're not going to be able to get into him or even hear him, family. Or maybe... Or maybe he is still speaking to that black heart that they got, but they still don't want to do what he is saying, family. Okay, let's keep on going forward. Now, you know, people who ain't got no wisdom, they're not going to act like this, family. They're not. This is how someone who, who has wisdom carry themselves. So if you see... Anybody, family, and they act in this way. That means that they have wisdom from God. If you see some brother, he got a kind heart. That means he has wisdom. If you have, if you see a sister and she has peace in her heart, that means she has wisdom, family. This is how you know, because if a person doesn't act in, in this way, that means they ain't got no wisdom from God at all. I'm sorry, family. I'm sorry, family. So this is how someone who has wisdom carries themselves. Her ways are always pleasantness, and all of her path are peace. She is a tree to those who take hold of her happiness, or all who retains her. So what, what do they have, Jehosa? What do they have? They have pleasantness on them, family. They have peace on them, family. They're happy, family. All them people with their face all turned up, family. 
all them people who who mean and angry and rude. And I was thinking to myself uh, th this weekend, family, rudeness is the there is no more kindness. All of there is rudeness. It used to be something in this world that people had dignity, family. And everybody wasn't rude, family. Rude is the new, you know how they say the orange is the new black family. But having being gentle and having love, family, is the new, the new thing now, family. You know what I'm saying? It's the new thing. They don't have no pleasantness, family. They don't have any peace, family. They are not a treat of life to take hold to to anybody, family. They don't have no happiness inside of their heart. But if they have wisdom, family, they're gonna be pleasant, family. Their path will be laid before them as a, a pathway of peace, family. They are the tree to take hold of because they have happiness. Happiness are all who re retain her. Okay, let's keep going. Now, what does wisdom do for a man or a woman? What does it do? What does it do for anybody? What does wisdom do for anybody? Let's go over it, family. The Lord by wisdom founded the earth. By understanding, he established the heavens by the knowledge of the depths were broken up and clouds dripped down. The dew, my son, let them not depart from your eyes. Keep sound wisdom and district and destruction so they may be life to your soul and grace to your neck. That's that's what he that's what he has Family, this discretion, family, that he wants us. There ain't no damn discretion in this world, family, at all, family, at all, family. But this is what wisdom does for anybody. You got to imagine by his great wisdom, he made the earth, family. He made the stars, family. He made the seas. He made the, the air, the, the birds of the air. He made the fishes of the sea. He made the animals of the land by his wisdom, family. So with the same wisdom that he gives us, this is how he wants us to be in this life, family, to be in his grace, family. He wants us to hold and keep fast and to, it, to, to our heart, family, so we can live good lives, family. So many different people, they don't even want it, family. This is why they don't even have common sense, family. It's sad, family, because they never took it upon themselves to seek out for God's wisdom, family, so they can build themselves up to something more greater. They was happy and they were complacent with how the world is, family. Don't get caught up in the world in the ways of the world. We must seek after our father's wisdom of his instructions, of his commandments, of his laws. And once more again, all of these things follow under love, family, because if you love, you're not going to hate. If you love, you're not going to be trying to beat nobody down, family. That's not doing you wrong. If you love, you're not going to give in to talking bad on somebody. If you love, you're not going to be trying to set somebody up. If you love, you're not going to be trying to steal from somebody. If you love, you're going to look at your wife and she's going to be all you need. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't, family, if you don't have none of this wisdom, you're going to be doing all them evil, foul things that you see so many people do in this world. And I have to go so hard on my people because God is double stretching his hand of payback and vengeance on us just to show the world, family, just to show the world. Look what I do to my children. Look what I do to the house of Israel. Have you seen what I've been doing to these black people? And they still don't get it, family. They still don't get it, family. Okay. Let's move forward. And he said I can go over this one, but I'm going to save this one for next time, family. I, I'm going I'm to bring that back, family. But w once more again, we're, we're, we're running up out of time up over here at the sanctuary. It goes by fast, family. I'm sorry, family. Now, terror and trouble walk hand in hand. They are not friends, but twins. So I mean that, family. You can't, in this life, family, terror and trouble, they go hand in hand, family. They're not friends, family. They're not cousins, family. They're twins, family. They're related, family. You can't have trouble without no terror coming in your life. You can't have terror without trouble or trouble without terror. If you see terror walking down the street, you're going to see some trouble coming too, family. If you see trouble crossing over the street, family, you're going to see terror come soon behind. 
But God does not want us to worry of such things, family. Let's get into scriptures. But that's why I labeled it the way I did. Terror and trouble walk hand in hand. They are not friends, but twins. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. Yes, you will lie down and your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden terror, not of trouble from the wicked when it comes. For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your feet from being caught. So you got to understand that, family. Them other people, family, they're going to be, I'm, I'm scared, I'm terrified, I'm mortified, oh, what am I going to do? And then, bam, here comes trouble happen to them, too, family. Not only is they terrified and they scared, family, and then it sneaks up on a person all suddenly, like, family. It's like, family, it's like going outside, it's a bright, sunny day, and then, Bam! Here come all of it, it. It just got all black all up in the sky, family. You seen it? Tornadoes whiffing around, family. Then the rain start pouring down all fast, family. It sneaks up on a person very quick, like family. But your father, as long as you walking in this great love of his peace, of his understanding, he's going to be your confidence. When all of that stuff comes, it is not going to catch you. Terror and trouble is catching all them people, family, and it's doing things to them. It is family. It is family. It's sad. I can say it and everything like that. But God wants to, Yah, the Lord of hosts. He wants to be your confidence, family. He does, family. He wants you to be confident knowing that he's going to keep you away from all that bad stuff happening. All them people who do, who do not want to order their footsteps by his commands, they're going to get caught up in all that terror. They going to get caught up in that trouble and all of that is going to befall them suddenly, family. All in a, all in the blink of an eye, family. All that stuff is going to happen to them, family, and they, they, they snared up, family. They can't even get out of it, family. They got to make it through if they make it through, family. If, if they make it through. But your father, he wants you to have confidence in him, knowing that you're in the right place with him. And you doing all that is well under his eyes by being a righteous man or a righteous woman, not giving into ways of this world. And you're holding fast to all of his laws, of his commandments, of his statutes, of his limitation and all that rolls up in love, family. If you said love, family, you really meant laws, statutes, limitations, ordinance, judgments, family. That's what you really mean, family. All you got to do is say love, family, because love is going to provide you all that, family. Have you walking in his statutes, walking in his, in his commandments, walking in his laws, walking in his judgments and walking in his limitations family so once more again so many people don't even want it family they're gonna get caught up brother they're gonna get caught up sister what what Jehoshaphat? what what why are they, why are they going to terror and trouble is walking down the damn street family they are not friends family they are twins family and they're gonna get them family Oh, Jehoshaphat, you traumatizing me, brother. Brother, I want you to be ready, brother. Sister, I want you to be ready. It's going to come, family. It's going to come, family. And then they're going to look at you. They're going to look at your feet and be like, oh, damn. I can't get him. I, I, I can't get Brother Bobby because the Lord is his confidence. I can't even untie his shoes. Oh, Shamika over there. I can't even break her. I can't even break one of her heels down for her to slip and almost fell and bust her head on the sidewalk. That, that trouble, family. That terror, family. It walks hand in hand, family, for those who do not serve the most high God. They got a whole lot of trouble. They got a whole lot of terror coming their way, family, and they can't even get out of it, family. Oh, I'm, I'm the big, bad Hebrew. I'm the big, bad African man. I do whatever the one I do. I say whatever the hell I want to say. They got all that damn trouble. They got all that terror that's coming their way, family. They can't even get out of it, family. I'll be laughing and I'll be giggling up at people, family. Laugh at me. Put me down. Say all that hafing stuff for me today. Today, I have to go through that. But you don't know what God has in store of what he's going to do to you. And it always, my brothers, it always, my sister, is going to be seven times more worse than what we got, family. Family, it's like it's like getting whooped by, by your grandma, family. You got whooped by your grandma. You didn't even have to take your pants down. You didn't, family. You, you know your daddy, he going to make you show your ass and he going to tear you up, family. He's going to tear you up, family. You ain't going to be able to keep your pants up. You know what I'm saying? When God gets to them people, he's going to pull their pants down and he's going to wear their little bottom out, family. 
I'll be giggling up and laughing at people. I'll be like, laugh at me today, family. You're going to have all your enemies, family, picking on you tomorrow, family. It makes me know never mind. You're just setting yourself up for a fall. I'll be looking at them. I'll be like, damn, this is why Jesus was feeling sorry for people. He'd be like, they know not what they do. They know not what they do. I'll be looking at them the same way. I'll be like, Lord, they have no idea what they setting themselves up for. Okay, let's keep on pushing forward. You say you will bless them next time when you can help them now, putting off what you can immediately do. He doesn't he doesn't he doesn't want us to do that, family. If we can if we can help those people today, we need to help them today, family. We we need to help them right now, family. Oh, well, you know, I I help you next week, brother. I, uh, brother but you can help them right now, brother. You can help them right now. Oh, well, well, well Tina, I'm not going to help you today. And then I, I can put you on my schedule, girl, for, for, for Thursday. Uh-uh, family. Uh-uh, family. If we can help them right now, family, if we can do it right now. This is why the Lord was saying, if you if they ask you to go one mile, if they ask you to go, go two with them. You know what I'm saying? Go two with them, brother. He wants us to help them immediately. He does not want us to put off good deeds, family. He don't, family. Does does he put off good deeds when he come help you? When he come bless all them people? Well, you know, I, I'll get back to Bobby next week. Uh, nah, I help Bobby next year. Uh-uh. Our God doesn't work that way with us, family. I told you, you can't stop a blessing, family. You cannot stop a blessing. You can hold a blessing back. You can slow a blessing down. But you cannot stop a blessing, family. You can't do it, family. And this is how he wants us to operate. Well, well, you know, I help my grandpa next week. You know what I'm saying? I help my sister next month. You know what I'm saying? I help my auntie whenever I get around to it. Is that how he does you, brother? When he gets around to your blessing, he going to just get around to it? You know what I'm saying? That's that's more digging up in his pocket and giving people pocket his pocket. I don't want God's pocket lint, family. And the people up over there, they're not going to help them immediately, family. He's not waiting to help anybody. He's doing it at me. He already written it up in his plan. Okay, I'm going to help Mike this day. I'm going to help Tina this day. I put it on this day that I'm going to do it. That's the day that I'm going to get it done. He wants us to do it immediately. He does not want us putting it on the back end. And then you forget about it, brother. You forget about it. Then you just forgot about a blessing, brother. That's sad, brother. It's sad, brother, my brothers and sisters out there. It's sad. They're up over here forgetting about their blessings, family. Our God doesn't operate like that, family. What was written? You say you will bless them next time when you can help them now. Putting them off. He, I'm sorry. Can help them now. Putting them off what, what you can do immediately. He wants you to do it at immediately. I know you're tired. I know you had a long day. I know your pockets is a little bit short. I know your back hurting. I know your forehead is hurting, but he wants you to do that at immediately. Don't put it off. Don't save it for later. <laughs> They forgot about the blessing, family. They forgot. It. Oh, oh, I was, oh, oh, I was supposed to help my auntie. You, you, brother, you just lost a blessing, brother. Uh, my daddy called me and he told me to take him to the doctor on Tuesday, and I told him I would do it on on Wednesday. Sister, you just forgot about your damn blessing. Why are you so hard on us, Jehovah? I don't want you to forget about your blessings. Okay, let's keep on going here. Um, you say you will bless them next time when you can help them now, putting off what you can do immediately. Why, Jehosa? Why, Jehosa? Do not, what does the scripture say? Do not withheld good from those to whom it is due when it is in the power of your hands to do so. Do not say to your neighbor, Go and come back, and tomorrow I will give it when you have it with you. See, see what I mean, family? Family, the, the, the neighbor, he said, brother, I need your clippers to cut my backyard. Uh, Jeffrey, just come back tomorrow and I'll give them to you. He could have just helped them right then and there, family. 
He could have just helped him right then and there. Now somebody putting their blessings on hold, family. They putting their blessings in the closet, family. I want my blessings to rain down from Zion, family. I'm not trying to store them up like that, family. You forgetting about the blessings, then you forget about it, brother. Then you forget about it, sister. Nah, nah, we're not having it. We're going to help them right now. In fact, we're going to make some time. I can do that right now. But but I don't need you to do it to, to tell to my... No, I can help you right now. I, I don't need you to do it to... No, you're going to come here and I'm going to help you right now. Okay, let's move to the next one. Now, family... They want to argue just to argue. What do you mean, Jehosa? They want to argue just to argue, family. It's so many different people out here in this world, family. They they not even arguing over nothing, family. They want to argue just to argue, family. If you have people like this in your life, please get away from them, family. They want to argue just to argue, family. They don't even have nothing to argue about, family. A person like me, I'm going to state my peace, family. I'm going to state my peace, family. If you're not feeling me, if you don't understand, family, that's on you, brother. That's on you, sister, because you have so many different people out in this world that take a pleasure on arguing about it. I said it. Arguing about it, family. <laughs> they don't even want the peace, brother. They don't even want the peace. Sister. They just want to argue to argue. They want to they wanna argue. They want to fuss about it, brother. They want to they wanna argue, but they want to fuss about it, my sister. And they don't even have nothing to fuss about. This is the life of so many different people. Look at look at black people. I said it. They're my people. Look at black people. They want to argue just to argue. <laughs> they want to fuss just to fuss, and they ain't even got nothing to fuss about. It's not even that important, family. What does scripture say? Do not strive with a man out of of out of case if he had done you no harm family god don't want us arguing just to just to argue about it family and if you have people in your life family you can't come to a good decision damn brother you can't even meet me in the middle you want to argue about it you don't need people like that in your life family we are not supposed to strive with a man with no cause family if he has done us no harm family that's why I told you, family, I, I'm just going to get my point across, family. If you don't understand, if you're not feeling me, that, that's on you. D do you hear me, sister? You don't have to be arguing with them funky, foul sisters down the street without no cause. Get your point across. Say what you have to say. Then keep it pushing. Okay, let's move forward to the next one because I'm my cuff runneth over here at the 9 o'clock. It, family, it's 905. I got to get into my prayer hour, family. I'm with you, my brother. You on your knees, sister. I'm with you. We all up in spirit up over here with all this strength for this week, my brothers and sisters. Do not strive with a man without cause if he has done you no harm. So I have to repeat it, family. They, they want to argue about it. They want to fuss about it. Okay, now... Let, let, let Hebrews, um, he, he was so called African Negroes. Ne do you hear me? Negroes. And this goes to everybody else too, but especially for black people, so called black people that live here in North America. Who is your oppressor? Who are, who are your people? That's what I'm asking you, family. Who is your, who, okay, now for the rest of the people over there in the world, who is, who is your oppressor? I don't even think y'all have any family. I don't, I don't think white people got other white people suppressing them like that. But if, but if you do, if you're white and you have other white people that's oppressing you, you might want to listen. If you're Mexican and you got other Mexican people oppressing you, you might want to listen. But I don't think this works for y'all because I don't see nobody oppressing y'all. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't. Maybe I, as I look at the world, I don't see that. But black people. So-called black people who live here in North America. Do not envy the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Now, when I read that, you know what God said to me? Do you know? I'm going to bring it back. But God, look at, okay, now, black people, who's oppressing you? Do, do, who's, who is oppressing you in this country? You know who they are. You know who it is. 
What does the scripture say? Do not envy your oppressor and choose none of his ways. What does that mean, Jehosa? Jehosa, what is that? God don't want us acting like them, family. God does not want us acting like them in their ways. And as you look at black people, they want to look like America. They want to act like America. And they think that they can get away with doing what America is doing. And God ain't going to slap the taste out your mouth. God, we are his we are his chosen seed is set apart people. Do you understand what that means? You know what I'm saying? We can't look like they do. We can't act like they do. And we cannot give in to none of their ways. But our people here in America, they think that they're American. And as you see, look, look, look at your oppressor, family. Your God does not want you acting like them. I'm sorry. They can think I'm racist. They can think I'm mean. They can think I'm hatred. Oh, your God is hating people and this and that. I don't care what they got to say, family. I'm talking to my people. God does not want us to act like them. He doesn't want us to, oh, well, white people got this and white people got that. And, and they doing this and they doing that. God does not want us acting like them, family. Now, this is what God said to me. Y'all said he... That we will be worse. He said that we'll be worse than them, family. Can you imagine black people in this country being worse than the people who oppress them, family? That's what y'all told me. I believe him. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe any man or nothing like that. This is what the spirit of God told me, family. He said that they will be worse than their oppressor. And we're not even so. Why is they going to be worse than their oppressor? Because black people is trying to be like their oppressor. You know what I'm saying? They trying to be. What did God say? That we will be even worse than they are, family. It's sad, brothers. It's sad, sister. So I'm just saying, family, you can argue with scripture all you want. You don't have to like it. Oh, you were saying all that good stuff and I liked it then and I can't take it. You got to take with God, family, you got to take his good and his bad, family. You have to, family. You just can't sit up over there and take all God good and think you ain't going to get no bad out the day. <laughs> oh, I got God's bad and I turned my back from the most high. Yeah, this is why people, they be backsliding, family. This is why they be backsliding, because they're not able to take God good with his bad. What do you mean, Jehoshua, the bad? Family works without faith is dead, family. He want to see you do something, family. He want to see the measure of your faith, family. He want to see the strife, family, the suffering, family, the sacrifice, family. And so many different people, they be backsliding, family. They be backsliding. I don't want to take God good with his bad. I don't want to take it. I ain't never heard nobody tell me nothing like that, Jehoshua. See? See? Backsliding, backpedaling. I love God. I don't love God. I know God. I don't know God. I'm going to be good. I ain't going to be good. I want a blessing. I want half of a blessing. They all confused, family. They all torn up, family. What was written, family? Do not envy the oppressor and choose none of his ways. I'll put that in your hand and let you do whatever you want to do with that one. Because God already told me that my people is going to be worse than the oppressor. I got to get ready for that. <laughs> That's what I'm over here getting ready for. I'm like, dang, for real, Father, <laughs> they gonna be worse. <laughs> what could be worse than all of the stuff that happened to your people? Your people doing the same thing, family. Okay, I'll leave it alone. I'll leave it alone. Some people are worthless to the Lord. Not all people can be in our lives. Okay, I know that is a very strong statement to say because some of my people be like, well, you know, Jehosa, I know God loves everybody. God only loves people who love him. You're wrong. And you're wrong. Uh, uh, you know, Jehosa, I know that God cares for everybody. And you're wrong. And you're wrong. You know what I'm saying? God only cares for people who care for him, family. He's not caring about nobody else, family. <laughs> And they think that they can sit up there and straddle that fence for their whole entire life. And God ain't even looking at them like that. He said it in his words. That's not my words, family. Uh, who you going to trust, family? You going to believe what, he's, what he told us to, to know and to hear and to fasten close to our heart? Are you going to believe into them fake people that believe in half of a God? 
that want half of a blessing, that believe in half of his word. Family, what, do you want his whole word or do you want half of his word? Do you want half of a blessing or do you want his whole blessing? Family, what do you want, family? It's on you, family. Do you believe in people that halfway believe in him or believe in him all the way, family? God thinks that some people are worthless. And the same people that God thinks that are worthless are people that's in so many different people's life. You hanging with somebody who's worthless to God. Oh, Jehosa, slow down, slow down, brother. Oh, that's that's a big statement, Jehosa. Oh, Jehosa, I don't want my sister to be worthless. She's worthless to God. Oh, Jehosa, you so damn cruel. And I didn't say that, family. That's just a statement, family, of how he thinks and what he said to us and how he feels, family. I'm not God, family. <laughs> I'm not God, family. I'm not, family. I'm just telling you, family. What's going down, family? And they don't even want to believe. They want half of a blessing. They believe in some fake pretend God family that allows them to give into any wicked imagination since they own youth family. It's sad, family. It's sad, family. They pretending believers of him, family. Who you gonna trust, family? Those of us who have a full faith, a healthy faith, a healthy fear of the Most High God. Throw your hands up for you know you are blessed by the Most High God Himself. All glory be given to the Most High Yah. Now, family. Okay, now. Side side note. Let me get a one more side note before I get up off of here tonight, family. Family, do you know, family? I think the devil knowing you. <laughs> I'm laughing, family. I'm laughing, family, but I've been through it. But family, do you know that I know that the devil knows when your blessings are coming, family? How do you know that for Jehoshaphat? Because he's going to turn up the fire, family. He's going to turn up the fire on you, family. It's going to get thick, family. It's going to get rough. Why, Jehoshaphat? Why? It's going to get rough. Because your blessings is coming, sister. Brother, do you know the devil knows when your blessings is coming? He's a hater, family. He be hating, family. He always up in our business. I said it. He's always up in your business. He know when your blessings is coming, family. This is how you, family, this is how you know when you got a lot of blessings is coming, family. When he turns up the fire, family, he go, family, the fire was already on 50, family. Now he done turned it up to 100, family. He ain't done with you. He ain't done with you, family. He turned it up to 125. He still ain't done with you yet, family. He turned it all the way up to 375, family. I seen it. I seen it. This is how you know. <laughs> this is how you. <laughs> All glory given to Yah. All glory given to Yah. This is how you know your blessings is coming, brother. This is how you know you got a whole, you got a whole boatload of blessings is coming. You want to turn up the fire, family. It starts getting thick, family. It starts getting harder and harder and harder and harder. You be like, damn, can I get a break? I said it. Can I get a break? You went through all of that, family. You went through all of that because you had so many different blessings that that hater, he didn't want you to know about. He didn't want you to receive. He wants you to discourage him. But you cannot stop a blessing. You can slow a blessing down. You can hinder a blessing. But you cannot stop a blessing. Do you hear me? Throw your hands up to Zion for we are blessed by the Most High God himself. All glory given to Yah. Now... So this is how you know, family, that you got a whole lot of blessings coming your way, brother. You got a brother. Do I got to turn it? Do I got to turn this up? You got a whole lot of blessings coming. He going to turn up the fire on you. <laughs> it's going to get hard. It's going to get tough. But you going to have to stick that out because you got so much stuff coming your way that that hater done known about it. He was like, damn. It was like he was sitting up at the edges of heaven. He was like, oh, no. Oh, no. That, that Mike don't deserve a good car. Oh, the Tina, she don't deserve a husband. Oh, t oh, Timmy, he don't deserve a good job. Oh, what it was. Oh, oh, damn. I told you. Them blessings, they be coming so fast, it burn his damn fingers from that. Oh, I can't hold it no more. Oh, damn. I got a Latina get her blessings. Oh, the blessing is in my hand. It's hot. I can't hold it no more. You cannot stop a blessing. And this is how you know, family, when the blessings are coming, family, and so many of them. When he, when he turned up the fire, family, when he turns it up, family, it was already on 250, brother. I'm sorry, brother. He going to turn it all the way up to 500, brother. It gets hot. 
Okay, let's keep on going, my brothers and sisters, because I'm almost finished here in the sanctuary, and I got to get to this 9 o'clock per hour. Let your brother get some water here. I didn't even make it through all of this stuff. I'm so behind. You caught, you caught me. You caught me again, brothers. You caught me again. So I'm just so behind up over here. I'm trying. He, he, okay, yo, father, he see me trying, family. He see me trying, but it's so much, brothers. It's so much, sisters. This is so bad. And, and I'm not saying, oh, I'm down for the counter and I can't do it. It's just a lot. You, you, got, you got to bear with your brother. I'm trying, family. They can, they, can, they can say what they want. They can say what they want. I'm still trying, and he see me, family. He see me like, oh, old Jehosa, he really trying. He's busting sweats, and he's trying his hardest. My child is trying. Huh? I'm trying, family. It's hard, family. Jehosa was right. It started getting all hard, but uh, hey, it started getting all hard, but I got that brand new job. I told you, brother. I told you. Oh, I was crying and everything, Jehosa, but I didn't know that y'all had a house in store for me. I told you, sister. He turns it up. He turns that fire up. He be hating, family. He be hating on us, family. We children of the most high God. He's gonna hate on us. He does not want to see us with the blessing, but he cannot stop a blessing, family. He can slow it down, family. He can try to disable and try to hinder the blessing, but he cannot stop the blessing. But he's sure enough going to turn that fire up. Okay, let's keep on going, family. Where was I at, family? I'm sorry, sorry for getting sidetracked, family. Okay, we talked about that. Do not envy the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Some people are worthless to the Lord. Not all people can be in your life. I'm telling you, family, some people are worthless to God. Family, I know that those are harsh words. I know that I probably broke some of y'all heart. What do you mean, Jehoshua? You, if God think them worthless, why do you think they able to be in your life like that? Brother, God doesn't see anything in them like that. He doesn't see them doing any good like that. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't see them. He, he sees a man's worth. He sees a woman's worth. And to some people, they are worthless. Oh, Jehosa, can you bag it up, brother? Can you bag it up? I ain't got to bag nothing up. This is the word. You either going to believe me or you not, family. So many different people, they, they, they listen to me and they're offended, family. Blessed is the man and the woman who listens to me by the most high God. And they're offended, family. You can only imagine what they say about your brother. Now... The curses of the Lord is, oh no, I, I jump. Did I jump? No. The curses of the Lord is on the house of the wicked, but he's blameless. No, but he blesses the home of all the just. Surely he scorns the scornful, but gives grace to the humble. Once more again, some people are worthless to the Lord. Not all people can be in your life, my brother. Not all people. I, I don't care that they your brother, your cousin, your sister, your auntie, your uncle. The Lord came to bring a sword of division to get you away from these crazy people. You know what I'm saying? He came with a sword to say, hey, 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 they ain't no damn good. And you want them in your life? Uh-uh, family, uh-uh. His curses are on the house of the wicked, but he gives his grace to the humble. Not all people can you have in your life like that. Not all people are blessed by God. What do you mean, Jehosa? What do you mean? The curses of the Lord is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the homes of, of the just. Surely he scorns the scornful, but gives grace to the humble. Okay, I can put my initials on that. What's today? Today is Wednesday, October 16th. Either the 16th or the 15th, family. Okay, let's keep it moving. <clears throat> Not all men partake in the Lord's blessing of his glory. Now, family, we bless family. We living in God's glory, family. So we're going to get God's blessings, family. We is, family. And I'm not just talking about the materialistic things, family. I'm talking about all of it. You want all of it, family. You don't want half, family. You do not want half, family. You don't want no hand-me-downs. You don't want God getting in, in his pocket. Oh, oh, well, here, Mike, here, here's some change. And help. That, that's a penny, Mike. Go ahead. Go run now. Go be happy. Uh-uh, family. Uh-uh, family. We're in his glory. To 
to receive his blessings. Not all men and women are partakers of the Lord's glory, family, or not. Why are they not partakers of the Lord's glory, Jehoshaphat? Because they're not walking in love. They're not walking in righteousness. They're not taking it upon themselves to be just. Family, they, it's a, so many different people who are scorners in this world. What does that mean, family? They talking, they lusting, they, they talking all that smack and all that trash and they all got all that damn, they always got that damn dust kicked all around all of the time, family. These are the people who will not be partaking in his glory, family. The wise shall inherit glory, but the shame shall be the, the legacy of a fool. Family, when they're dead and gone, family, <laughs> when they're dead and gone, family, they still going to be talking smack about them people when they're gone, family. It's sad, family. It's sad, family. That's the legacy of a fool, family. What was written? Not all men are partaker in the Lord's blessing of his glory. The wise shall inherit glory. But shame shall be on the legacy of a fool. Even when they're dead and gone, family, people are going to know that they were dumb and they didn't love God. And that's why he was kicking them down, family, all the time, family. <clears throat> then you then you wonder why they'd be saying all that stuff about them people like that. You'd be like, damn, like, but they're dead. You know what I'm saying? They're not even here anymore. Family, the, the, some people in your family... Some people that you know of, some associates and some friends, there's some stuff that you could say about them because they're gone. And it was true. Why is that? The legacy of a fool, family. Let's keep on moving forward. Not all doctrines is true, but is right before the what is I'm sorry. Not all doctrines is true, but what is right before the Lord is law. We have to give in to his commandments. Yah who seeks better understanding. What do you mean, Jehosa? What do you mean, Jehosa? Not all doctrines are true, family. It's a whole lot of doctrines that's around here. And we're not talking about the doctrines of demons. You know that stuff is satanic. You know that stuff is evil. All them people and all that stuff that they glorify that's evil to the high heavens that Negroes here in this country, so-called African-Americans can't stop putting up in the air. Those are bad doctrines, family. But there's so many different other doctrines out there that are not good for any man or any woman. Let's continue here. For I give you good doctrine. Do not forsake my laws. When I was my father's son, tender, and the only one in his sight of my mother, he also taught me and said to me, let your heart retain my words. Keep my commandments and live. Get wisdom. Okay, get wisdom, get understanding. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her and she will preserve you, love you, love her and she will keep you. Wisdom is the principal things. Therefore, get wisdom and in all your getting, get understanding. Exalt her and she will promote you. She will bring you honor. And when you embrace her, she will place on your head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory. She will deliver to you. Family, this goes all into you getting God's wisdom. You getting this understanding. Them, them foolish people and all them foul people and all them wicked people and all them people that want to. They want to backbite and they want to gossip and they want to lie and they want to cheat and they want to steal and they want to be a, a false witnesses and bear witness of things that are not true, family. That's not seeking out for God's glory. Anything of anything else outside of this world that's not seeking out for God's doctrine of his truth is not going to hold you. It's not going to save you. It's not going to keep you. It's not going to bless you. It's only going to hinder you. And you're going to end up like them foolish people with a legacy of foolishness behind them, family. It's our job, family, to lift up his understanding, family, of his righteous ways to carry these things forth throughout the duration of our life as a self-sacrifice before thine eyes, family. So we can be, what, 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 what is wisdom going to be doing for us? 
Exalt her and she will promote you. She will bring you honor when you embrace her. She will place on your head a ornament of grace, a crown of glory. She will deliver to you. That's us living peaceful, good lives and being blessed, family. But so many of our people, they want that hard life, family. All that evil that you see so-called black people do in this country, they sing about it, they rap about it, they dance about it, they they gospel about it, they, they, they put it in their papers, they put it on the, the news, they put it all up in the movies, family, all that stuff, family, is going to be their downfall, family. They're not going to be able to live a good life and have wisdom honor them, family. To be gracious in their life and have his hand of blessings on all the, all his blessings and his favor, family. They ain't going to have none of that. They're going to have some hard time. We already know, family, that terror and trouble walk hand in hand because they like twin sisters and stuff. And they be doing stuff to people, family. That's what they're going to have in store for them, family. If they're not willing to get God's understanding, family, on their life. And we all have the key. What is the key, Jehosa? Love, family. They already see love as something bad, family. They look at love as is something bad. Oh, you I don't want to be a I don't want to be a sucker, Jehosa. I don't want the people looking down at me, Jehosa. All of that stuff, family. They already gonna look bad. They're gonna look bad at down at the understanding of God's wisdom, family. They're gonna look down at that. I don't want to do it. I, I don't want to think for myself. I just want to look like everybody else. It's like Hebrews nowadays, family, they come off an assembly line, family. It's like they come off an assembly line, family, but only a couple of them is going to last, family. It, I'm just saying, family, that day, family, off of the assembly line, family, came a thousand VCRs, family. Okay, we don't have VCRs nowadays. It's live streaming and stuff. But just imagine if you had a DVD player, family. It was a thousand DVD players that came off that assembly line, family. Only a couple of them is going to work a lifetime. All them other ones that came off that assembly line is going to break and be in the city dump, family. That is hell, family. They're going to live the, the roughest. They're going to be beat down, broken, and confused, family. If you do not seek after God's wisdom, family... Okay, I put my initials on it because once more again, I'm getting, oh man, it's 930. Okay, I get this one, I only finished one page. Oh, this can't be right, family. Only one? No, I got two of them. Yeah, I got half, half of one and two. I made it to page three for me tonight, family. I, almost to page three, family. It's, it's all right, it's all right. I told you, this is, it, family, it, it takes work, family. Last one, family. Last one, family. And I'm going to get up off of here for the night. All glory be given to Yah. There is only the wise, the wicked, and the unknown because they seek no counsel. Side note. Last side note. Side note for the night. Yes. Or the morning time whenever you get this. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Side note. Yes, it is. There is only the wise, the wicked, and the unknown, because they, they seek no counsel. But I ask here today, before the ears of my, my brethren and my beloved, what is the difference between the wicked and those who have no understanding? So I'm asking you, family, this is, you know, I ask y'all a lot of questions because I want you to think, family. I want you to think about his, his life, family. Family, I, I preach Christ who, Christ, Christ, I preach God, uh, Christ who was crucified. This is all I know, family. I don't choose to put my power into anything else. This is all I know, family. So I'm asking you, family. You got your brothers for every, you got your brothers and sisters for everything. This is your brother on this, family. Uh, what is the difference between the wicked and those who just don't have no understanding, family? What is the difference between them, family? I want you to think right now. Give me an answer. Okay, some of y'all was right. Some of y'all was wrong. Some of y'all didn't even give me another answer, uh, could, uh, a damn answer because you don't even know. So what is the answer, Jehosa? The wicked know they will get theirs. Those who have no understanding don't know it's coming. It's sad, family. It's sad, family. You, in this world, family, you have the wise, you have the wicked, and you have people who have no understanding. What is the difference between the wicked and the unknowing? 
the wicked know that they're for to get theirs, family. That's why he can't sleep at night, family. That's why he peeping around the corner, family. That's why he driving down the street and he keep on looking backwards, family. He know his whatever he put out in this world. He know it's coming, family. But then you have the, the people that have no understanding. They still got something coming, family. I told you, family. God got a present for everybody and he wants to give it to you, family. <laughs> Yah has the Lord of hosts has something for all of us, family. He does, family. The wicked, they know that they got theirs coming, family. They know inside of their self. They know that they got theirs coming. It's fit to come to them, family. But those who don't understand, they still got something coming, family. They don't even know it's coming, family. It's sad, family. It's sad, family. The wise we're looking for are blessings. Hallelujah. Now... All my brothers and sisters, go ahead and put your hands up to all Zion. Father, we come to you humble tonight or in the daytime, whenever my brothers and sisters receive this message in your holy name and Yahshua Hamashiach name, Yah, for you are worthy God. And we come to you humble. And I ask all these things before your great throne, for we love you, Father, for we are your children, we are your children, Father, and we submit ourselves, Father. We humble ourselves, Father, in this world to show you. All of the grace that you have bestowed upon us, for you are a great God. Father, I ask that you bless the fruits of their mind. I ask that you bless the fruits of their body. I ask that you keep their mind strong, seven steps ahead of any principality of evil that will come their way, seven steps ahead of anything that might occur in their life, seven steps ahead on top of their P's and Q's to get whatever done that they are trying to do. Father, I ask that you bless the fruits of their body. I ask that you cast down any sickness, any pain, any disease, any ailment in their body. And I ask that you give them the, the youth of their baby skin, Father. I ask that you give them their baby skin, Father. I ask that you give them the youth when they used to run on your green meadows full of energy and youth, Father, for you are a great God. Father, Yah, I ask that you for anyone who has never felt your presence, I ask that you knock down them with your presence of love wherever they might be in this world to know that you do exist and that you have all power and all things was made for your pleasure. All glory be given unto you. Father, I ask that you bless their sons, their daughters, their husbands, their wives, their complete household covered in the blood of the precious lamb, the king of all kings. We also call him Jesus Christ. Father, I ask that this same light that you have put in us shine in this dark world and bring so many different people into your truth of your understanding, of your love, of your wisdom, of your knowledge, so they can be saved. And you can also use us as your vessels upon this earth, for we love you and we submit ourselves unto you. Father, we love you and we honor you with this sacrifice of our life, of our self, Father. We humble ourselves each day before you, for you are our or Yah, the Lord of hosts. We bless your name and Yahshua HaMashiach name for you are worthy. All glory given to Yah. All glory given to Yah for he is the only one who is worthy. Blessed be his name forever for he is worthy. Now, and thank you to all my brothers and sisters out there who have, have blessed me. Now, this has been your brother Jehoshaphat Israel in the sanctuary. Family, I got to go ahead and get into my, my prayer hour, even though I probably don't end it to 11 o'clock, family. Man, be running. I got to get a, I gotta get a full hour in. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? I got to get a whole hour in. So come be a symbol. This has been your brother. All glory be given to Yah.